So I like to indulge myself in some fast food from time to time, okay? It, there's nothing wrong with that. Right? But I get it quite a bit, okay? I want to say, how, how often, like, let me think about this. Like, how often do I eat fast food? <laughs> Pretty much every day. And right off the bat, I have to say my favorite places to go are Wendy's, McDonald's, not that much, okay? A lot of people always say, like, oh, McDonald's makes the best fast food. I don't know if it's just the places near me, but McDonald's is kind of horrible. I I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the breakfast is good, but sometimes those double corner po d corner, corner pounders. Uh, take two. Sometimes it just tastes like moldy and rotten. I, that's just me, though. That's just me. If you guys enjoy it, go for it, man. I'm not trying to rain on your parade. McDonald's lovers, you do you. But there's one restaurant I always loved going to as a kid, and that was Subway, okay? I ate fresh like a god, okay? I loved that shit. Dude, Subway was just revolutionary, okay? It's a sandwich, where else can you get a sandwich? But the reason I say as a kid is because recently, at least in my opinion, Subway has been missing pretty hardcore, and it's not only just the food, but the whole entire experience at my local Subway is pretty awful. Like, it's, it's just, it's, it's uncomfortable. So right off the bat, I don't know if everyone else in my hometown has had enough of Subway's bullshit, but every time I walk into Subway, without fail, there is nobody else in there. It is literally just me. I walk in there, uh, I'm... You know, I'm just like smiling. And then you can see one of the subway employees. And keep in mind, every time I go in there, it's like the same two people, right? And every time I come in, one of the guys is sitting in the back. And when you walk in, you can see him sitting in the back looking at his phone. Then he looks up from his phone and gives you a, uh, a pretty uncomfortable look, right? A look of like... Look at this piece of shit ruining my fucking time on my phone. I'm trying to play fucking Candy Crush and he's fucking it up. But I usually walk into Subway and just say, Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? He walks up, puts on his little pathetic fucking, uh, uh, what, what like the little plastic gloves and shit, and just looks at me like, what the fuck do you want, man? Like, I hate my life. I'm depressed as shit. My wife is cheating on me with two separate men. One of them has a vagina. And I just, I, I don't want to work here anymore. I just want to, you know, I, I just... I, I, I want to feel alive again, and you're ruining it by ordering food at my, you know, at the place I'm working at, and it just doesn't make any sense, right? Like, why would you order food? Yeah, no joke at all. They legit make it seem like an inconvenience to them that I'm ordering food at the fucking plate. Like, you're literally working. But I usually go for, like, an Italian cold cut. Um, you know, the spicy Italian. Sometimes I get the BMT. Recently, I've been trying the steak and cheese out. I had it twice, not gonna lie. I think having it twice was more than enough because the second time I had it, I felt sick to my stomach, alright? But... What does this have to do with anything and every single time without fail that they're like putting my sandwich together They always look so pissed off. It's like dude. I understand you hate your life, right? But just at least put on a fake smile. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't care that much Like I'm kind of over exaggerating like if you want to look pissed off while you're working go for it, bro Like I could give less of a shit. It's just one of those things that it's like so funny to me how fucking mad they look all the time But anyways after the whole entire sandwich process is complete they ring me up your total is 12. They, they sound so fucking mad too, right? Your total is 12 30 cents. Like, bro, holy shit. But as for their customer service, that's about like as far as it goes. They always seem so fucking mad. And a lot of the times I end up look like feeling a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit awkward in these positions when they're like putting my sandwich together all mad looking. They're like, like fucking aggressively putting the salami on the bread. It's like, are you gonna break my sandwich, dude? But okay, right, after I'm done dealing with these people, I grab the food, go in my car, drive home, and this is where it gets interesting, right? Because I don't know if it's just me as a person, I can think of multiple different places where, in my opinion, the food quality has deteriorated over time. Number one, Burger King, okay? I remember being five years old, playing, you know, Sneak King and shit, and eating some Burger King chicken nuggets, the little, you know, these ones, and, you know, just living my life. But recently, uh, Burger King tastes like shit, okay? Sorry to all my Burger King enjoyers out there, I doubt there's any of them, but yeah, that shit is terrible. But anyways, to get to the point, uh, Subway does not hit the same anymore. Not even close. It does not, it, it it's, it's not the same whatsoever. Maybe it's because I get it like once a week, but it just, there's just something off about it. Like, I feel like they put their feet in the bread. Is that like what goes on? Because I mean, if that is what goes on, I might have to actually work for Subway because I feel like I would get a lot of enjoyment out of ruining people's days. Well, like over time, because like the first time they eat the fucking foot infected uh 
sandwich. I feel like they won't really know what's going on, but maybe after like the 30th time, they'll finally get it that my feet have been inside their mouth. Jesus Christ. And uh, that concludes my rant about Subway. Really random. Dude, these videos recently have been just fucking all over the place, man. Might as well announce this since I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just always forget to announce it. So if you guys want like an actual face reveal or whatever the fuck, get my Twitter to 10k, I'll do it there. Or if you guys follow my Instagram and get that to 10k, I'll do it on there. Either one, both uh, usernames should be on screen and all my links are in the description. And uh, yeah, bye.